Welcome to my channel Tech Truth Reviews Roku Remote Not Working in 2025? Here's how to fix it fast. If your Roku Remote suddenly stopped responding, no power, no pairing, or unresponsive buttons, don't worry. In this video, we'll walk you through 5 quick and proven solutions to get your remote working again, whether you're using the standard IR remote or voice enhanced remote. Check the batteries. Start with the basics, weak or dead batteries are a common cause of Roku remote issues. For Roku simple remotes or standard voice remotes, open the battery compartment and replace the two AA or AAA batteries, check the sticker for type. For the Roku Voice Remote Pro, recharge it using the included micro USB cable. Ensure batteries are inserted correctly, following the polarity diagram in the compartment. If corrosion is visible, clean contacts with vinegar and a cotton swab, but handle carefully due to battery acid risks. Identify your remote type. Roku remotes come in two types, simple, infrared, IR, and voice, Wi-Fi, enhanced. Simple remotes lack a voice, search button and require a direct line of sight to the Roku device. Voice remotes, including the Voice Remote Pro, use Wi-Fi and don't need line of sight. Check for a microphone or pairing button in the battery compartment to confirm. Knowing the type guides troubleshooting, as IR remotes need clear paths, while voice remotes rely on Wi-Fi. Ensure clear line of sight for IR remotes. If you have a simple remote, ensure no obstructions, e.g., furniture, soundbars, or glass cabinets. Block the IR signal between the remote and the Roku device's receiver. Point the remote directly at the device, ideally within 10-15 feet. Test the IR emitter using a smartphone camera. Point the remote at the camera, press a button, and look for a flashing purple light on the screen. No light may indicate a faulty remote. Repair the voice remote. For voice remotes, unpairing and repairing often resolves issues. Remove the batteries, unplug the Roku device for 10 seconds, then plug it back in. Once the home screen appears, reinsert the batteries. Press and hold the pairing button, inside the battery compartment, for 5 seconds until the green status light flashes. A pairing dialog should appear on the TV. If it doesn't, repeat up to 3 times or try new batteries. Restart the Roku device. A device reboot can fix connectivity issues. Unplug the Roku from power, wait 10 seconds, then plug it back in. Alternatively, use the Roku mobile app, if functional, to navigate to settings, system, system restart. If the remote is completely unresponsive, this step may require the app or manual unplugging. Restarting refreshes the connection between the device and remote. Check Wi-Fi connection for voice remotes. Voice remotes rely on a stable Wi-Fi network. Go to settings, network, about on your Roku using the mobile app if needed, to check signal strength. If it's fair or poor, move the Roku or router closer, or reduce interference from devices like microwaves or cordless phones. Ensure the Roku and remote are on the same Wi-Fi network. Resetting the network, settings, network, setup connection, may help. Update Roku software. Software glitches can affect remote performance. Using the mobile app or a working remote, navigate to settings system system update check now install any available updates for the roku os or channels then let the device reboot updates often resolve responsiveness issues especially for voice remotes use the roku mobile app as a temporary fix if the physical remote fails download the roku mobile app from the app store or play store connect your phone to the same wi-fi network as the roku open the app and tap remote to control the device Ensure mobile app control is enabled on the Roku, settings, system, advanced system settings, control by mobile apps, default or permissive. This is a reliable workaround while troubleshooting. Reset the remote and Roku device. For persistent issues, reset both devices. For voice remotes, hold the pairing button for 20 seconds or press back and home buttons together for 20 seconds. For simple remotes, remove and reinsert batteries. To reset the Roku, unplug it, remove remote batteries, wait 10 seconds, then reconnect and reinsert batteries. If needed, perform a factory reset via settings, system, advanced system settings, factory reset, but note this erases all settings. Replace the remote if necessary. If all steps fail, the remote may be faulty. Roku remotes are affordable. Simple remote, 
$15, Voice Remote, $20, or Voice Remote Pro, $30. Purchase from Roku's website, Amazon, or Walmart, ensuring compatibility with your device, check Roku's site. Use the mobile app to navigate to settings, remotes and devices, add devices, remote to pair a new remote. User reports on X suggest some remotes fail due to worn button contacts, supporting replacement as a last resort. Tips and context. Most Roku remote issues stem from batteries, pairing, or signal interference, with simple fixes resolving 80-90% of cases. IR remotes are prone to obstructions, while voice remotes are sensitive to Wi-Fi issues. The mobile app is a robust temporary solution, but long-term reliance drains phone batteries. For Roku streaming sticks, HDMI interference may affect voice remotes. Request a free HDMI extender from Roku's website. Always test after each step, and check Roku's support site for device-specific advice. If issues persist, contact Roku support with your device's serial number. Hope you like this video please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.